Welcome to ITL Trainer Talk. Today I'm with Corey Taylor of Corey Taylor Sports Performance in Louisville, Kentucky. Corey, welcome, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. Corey, uh, we've talked about this a long time, and we've been friends for a long time. Uh, how have you been able to develop a thriving sports performance practice in the Midwest, whereas almost every other one that I can think of is either in Florida, California, maybe Texas, somewhere in the South Sun Belt. You've been able to do it where it's not always warm. Right. What do you right. attribute that to, Corey? I, I contribute that to culture. Um, our, our culture that we have here is quite different than a lot of facilities around the country. Uh, when I say that, we only take six to eight players. So our program is really unique as far as giving kids and uh, the individual attention that they, they need and deserve for this process. So we take a little small approach where a lot of facilities take the large approach. They want to get as stuff as many guys in, in a can like a sardine. And they, and you know, when you get a bunch of numbers, someone's going to run, someone's got to run fast. Someone's going to make it, you know, first, second, third round or whatever. And you have those numbers and those guys to market to help get new guys for the next year and the year after that. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I get it. I get how that it. works. But I'm excited to, at our facility to do things differently, uh, to give it to more, uh, I don't want to say family approach, but yeah, we treat my guy, our, our, we are like a family here, but uh, we get after it and, um, you know, and we do it differently and the culture is the difference and, and uh, it's, it's proven to be successful so thus far. Sure. No, no question about it, man. All right. So another thing, Corey, uh, when I get on your social media, I can barely uh, sort through all the times you're being asked to speak. You're all over the place. You're uh, much in demand as a guy to go and kind of talk about speed training, talk about performance, that kind of thing. Why is that? Why are people always reaching out to you and asking you to come, you know, to their conferences and speak? Well, I, mean, I guess I do things pretty – I do it well. And uh, my guys run fast here for the combine prep. And I've been kind of been, you know, pegged as a speed guy, uh, which is not a bad thing. And I really enjoy that. Uh, I feel I have a simple but effective approach to developing faster athletes. And, um, you know, I, I am, I speak every year at national, international conferences around, you know, North America and Canada. And, and, um, and, I, and I love it. I, I feel that's something that I have uh, approached that, uh, that I can help other coaches and trainers around the country uh, and around the world and give them some tips to help their athletes move better. And, uh, you know, I, I'm very proud to be uh, on a presenter circuit when it comes to sports performance, speed development, and movement training. Because um, obviously the faster athlete, the kid that moves the, moves the best wins. And uh, so, you know, I, I am an expert in, the, in that field and I take very much pride in that. I really enjoy it. I love traveling. I love sharing my knowledge and uh, making other people uh, be the best version of themselves. So that's just what it's all about for me. No doubt about it. Now, Corey, you obviously have a passion for coaching. You obviously have a passion for teaching. How did you realize that that's kind of what you wanted to do with your life? I mean, how did you arrive at that in this somewhat specialized area of sports training? Well, back in 2000, let's see, let me think through them. I'm old now. 2001, I had went to NFL Europe and I uh, blew, after NFL Europe, I blew my knee. I, I tore my ACL and, and MCL. And I moved to Salt Lake City at the Institute for Sports Science and Medicine at the Olympic, at the uh, Orthopedic Specialty Hospital to rehab my knee. Uh, and I went out there and I lived there for a, a long time at the training facility. And they asked me one day, they said, hey, um, while you're rehabbing, you want to help coach and help train these kids? Because they had a training facility within the institute there. And I was like, sure, why not? All I did was spend most of my time rehabbing and didn't know anybody in Salt Lake City. So I needed something else and wanted something else to do. And uh, they gave me a little bit of a group of kids that's worked with and, and trained. And I loved it. I loved it. And um, they fed off my energy. Um, you know, I, I didn't know the science behind the, the training. I just gave, did this repeated the protocols that, um, that people above me designed for me to follow. But I loved that I got great connections with the kids and they were on fire. They had, they had a great time in their training sessions and we got a lot of work done. And um, I was like, man, when I finished playing, this is what I want to do. I want to help other athletes live their dream. And whatever that may be, if, even if that's just to start on the varsity or JV or freshman team or, or even beyond, uh, I loved it. So, and it was, a, it was actually like a ding ding for me because I really didn't know what I wanted to do after football. Right. And I'd had that ACL injury, 
And, you know, followed that was an Achilles rupture, then another Achilles rupture. So I had ACL and two Achilles ruptures. So, you know, in six years of trying to make it in the NFL and, and being uh, in the CFL necklace and, 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 and NFL Europe and then, you know, I went to Green Bay and all that stuff, you know, it was a setup for me to do what I do now. Um, all the injuries that I had were just a setup for me to be in a position to where I am. And that's how God works. And I'm a firm believer of that. Uh, football was just a, a part of my path, my journey. I called it a lily pad. You know, you could jump different lily pads to get to certain places in life. And that's what it was for me. Uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but definitely it's that my eyes are wide open to it now. It, it was setting me up for the path that I'm really meant to be, and that's to be a sports performance coach and a coach in general. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy being able to live life full of passion and, and, and with purpose and, and wake up every day. I don't feel like I go to work. I feel like I get, a, I get another day to make, make something happen and make an impact on somebody's life. You know, here at, our, here at Cortez Sports Performance, we train seven-year-olds all the way up to elite professional. We train mom and dads, every Joe and James. We train, train a little bit of everybody. And I get to impact all, all people's lives from all different walks of life. Right. You know, from the executive, executive who has money coming out of his ears in his pocket, but he has no goals. He has nothing. He has everything. He had everything he always thought he wanted. So I help them recharge their batteries, reset their mindset. And go after new goals, set new goals. So you know, I, I'm able to touch people in all walks of life, and uh, and I love it, and I and I love coaching, and you know, that's I think that's why you know I get guys who are not first, second, third rounders. I get guys who are underdogs mm -hmm. who feed off my energy, know that I believe in them, they buy into the process of what I have to offer, and they live it, mm -hmm. and we get after it, and we use that as a chip on our shoulder to get our edge. I tell my guys all the time, you got to maintain an edge in life. Mm -hmm. If you don't maintain it, once you lose your edge, it's a wrap no matter what you do. And I try to do, and I, and I tell my coaches, my trainers here, you got to maintain an edge every day. I have a chip on my shoulder all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, when I go present, you know, there are some people who probably don't know me or don't think I maybe I belong there or what have you. But I use that chip on my shoulder that my knowledge, my words, my experience that I'm going to share with you it's going to wow you. It's going to take you to another level. And you'll see why I'm up on this platform and why I have this platform to present and speak and, and help change people's lives. So for me, hey, man, this is my calling. This is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep doing it until it's, it's time to, I guess, do something else. But uh, I don't see that anytime soon. Corey, every time I meet you, I know that you are following your calling. That's got to be a really refreshing feeling, man. Now give us your website, give us your Instagram, give us your Twitter. All right, so my IG, my personal one is Coach underscore C Taylor. Um, my coach facility, under, Coach yeah. underscore C Taylor. I want to make sure we got that. Yeah, my facility is at Team T E A M C T S P. Right. Team C T S P. That's okay. Court, stands for Team Cortez with Performance. Right. And then my IG, my my Twitter is same thing coach underscore c taylor and then my business one the facility is at team ctsp so it's all the same perfect okay so. Great. good enough man i appreciate you Corey. i appreciate the energy you bring to this i appreciate the work that you do with so many people i appreciate you're a fellow cajun buddy have a good rest of the day hey i appreciate you man and like i said if anybody wants to the time spots are booking up now for combine prep so if any guys want to get out there they want to kind of get out of that big facility mode and, and do something a little different you, you might you might uh be surprised at the results that you get here so hey i appreciate yeah. you neil thank you buddy take care yeah. of yourself you got brother thank you Corey.